Hi, my name is Dick van den Oever. I come from the Netherlands. I live in New Zealand and I want to help you out to look good on camera. I'll give you some tips how to do that and why. Because you can do it yourself. You can use your own camera and get out there on YouTube like me now and have your story told there. First thing I want to talk to you about is preparation. You have to prepare yourself. You have to know the content of what you're going to say. How do you do that? You write it down, use a computer, piece of paper, and then rehearse it. Rehearse it in front of a mirror. That way you can see how you look, how your shoulders are, how, you, what you, how your stance is, what your eyes do. And because you are looking in a camera, it's different than reading from a computer or from a piece of paper. It's because you have to keep your eyes there to the audience. The audience is there, I'm looking at you, and I have to keep looking at you. Because if, I, if my eyes fl flick away like that, there might be somebody there beside the camera, it'll look strange. You see what happens with my eyes if I look away? Because you are there and I need to talk to you and not to that person. Okay, so you've got that text written out in a computer, printed it, piece of paper. Well, don't use that piece of paper in front of the camera because it crackles. You probably hear it through the microphone that I got here. And it also distracts my eyes from you to the paper because I'm trying to read. So don't do that. Another thing you have to be aware of too is when you use your hands talking, it's like a third focus point. It's, you know, my hands tell a story too. Don't put them away. Don't do it like this. Don't put them in your pockets, you know, it you know, looks, looks stiff, maybe a bit arrogant. Don't put them behind your back. Let them hang loose and eventually you'll move them because you don't want to let them hang there. You want to talk with them. Let's talk about lighting because that's very important because you, the viewer, want to see my facial expression. And when we kill those lights, you know, let's have a look what happens. Lorraine, can you switch off that light? You see what happens with my face and my eyes? And there's another little light on the left behind me. Peter, can you switch it off? Now, I probably still have some light on my face because it's coming from the outside, some daylight. Uh, but you see my face is rather dark and that doesn't communicate very well. So can you switch on the lights, lights again? Okay. Last point I want to make in this little video is video doesn't lie. However, you have to make sure that you don't speed up, talk slower than you normally would do because you want to get your point across. You can exaggerate a bit, use your hands, and make sure your articulation is good. Can you try this?